tournament leader Mitch Beasley taking on Jesper Svensson. Title match at the Fire Lake PBA Tournament of Champions. Beasley's first television experience coming in the very first Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. And his partner, Kevin Durant, I think this was Kevin Durant's rookie season in the NBA. Durant and Beasley teaming up. Now Durant teaming up with the Oklahoma City Thunder about 40 minutes away here from Shawnee as eventually Jason Couch and LeBron James would claim that CP3 title. Now Mitch Beasley, tournament leader. And just a real quick correction, Jesper's game, last game was 245, not 235. Beasley, tournament leader, elects to begin. One of the good guys, yeah, he he doesn't want to finish on the left lane. Let's see if he figured anything out. Mitch Beasley, 47 years old, the 20-year Air Force veteran, begins the title match. And misses the head pin. One, two, four, eight. Wow. Wow. Beasley in match play. Over the last two rounds, 13 of 14 matches ran, including 8 and 0 on Friday night. And that is presented by Roltec, today's Roltec stat. I have a really bad feeling about this match. If Jesper Svensson can keep it together, this might be a rout. And the open frame, 9 out for Beasley. Why and how can you sense that so quickly? Because the left... The left lane has deteriorated so bad for the right-handers. If you get a little right, it doesn't hook back. You get it going up the lane, it goes through the face. Jesper doesn't have that problem. He can hit the pocket on both lanes at will. A great game bowled on the right side right now, in my opinion, is about 210 or 220. That's a, that's a huge game. Jesper can do that on the left side right now with his eyes closed. Mixing strike for Svensson. Jesper Svensson, just 20 years, just 20 years old. If you're wondering who the youngest TSC winner is, I'll tell you that in a minute as we take a look at that swishing strike on the right lane. Youngest player ever to win the TSC, Marshall Holman, 1976, 21 years of age, 207 days. Enjoyed working with Marshall four straight days on extra frames coverage of this event. Now, Svensson, second frame. Whoa, he's got it. <laughs> Thank you, boss. It's a monster. When he can use that urethane ball, the, all the players talk about this youngster. They've seen him bowl around the world. When he can use urethane, he can't be beat. Beasley, however, nine frames remaining to find a way to try. He got him in the position round match, which solidified his position as the number one seed. And now he's out in front of the ball return on the right lane, second frame. Kimberly Pressler is with Tom Doherty. Thanks, Mike. Tom, you did well. You took out two competitors. You took out the player of the year, defending champion, but uh, you are going to go home at this point because that left lane was giving you some issues. What were they? Yeah, it was definitely just hooking earlier. We call it the Belmo effect. So by the time he got over there, he destroyed that lane. And I don't see how anyone's going to beat the left-hander today. That lane's, you know, Mitch has already missed a head pin in, on it once. So I gave it a run, but you're just not going to beat a lefty when the lanes get like that. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Exactly what we're seeing up here. From our vantage point, what we've seen, you know, that, that left lane was fine after match number one. And and then it, it quickly deteriorated. <laughs> there it is. Get it right, it hangs, get it up the lane, it goes through the face. The only other option would be to take a urethane, maybe a urethane ball out, move right, and throw it straight up second arrow. Talking to Mitch yesterday about that, he said it was remote, but if you've got two shots on each lane, that position might come to him as a last 
effort. Unless he tried it in practice, I don't see him going to that. Covers the 6 9 10. Beasley spares. Jesper Svensson travels the world in pursuit of bowling, and he travels with Martin Larson and Oscar Palerma, and those are the, the three amigos of the world. And uh, interestingly enough, Martin acts as a confidant and offers some tips, but Oscar <laughs> plays it close to the vest. Yeah, uh, Jesper said that. Uh, Osku won't give him any help, and when he does, it's it's simply, yeah, go throw that urethane ball. Look out. Ooh. Just a touch high. Six bit. Jesper trying to calm himself down. <sighs> PBA.com is uh, offering extra frame to PBA's online subscription video service. Coming up, starting next week, live coverage of Big February rolls on with the USBC Masters starting on Tuesday. The Barbasol PBA Players Championship is the week after that. Also available as an app for your mobile device. Click on PBA.com and visit the extra frame link and subscribe. And we'll see you Tuesday at Wooden Bowl. Right. It's fair for Jesper. Right now, Spenson needs to stay in the moment, not get ahead of himself, not think ahead. This title, in my opinion, is being gift wrapped, courtesy of the left lane for the right-handers. All he has to do is execute and stay in the moment and don't think. He won on the world tour, beating Pascal Winternheimer at the World Series of Bowling, and then he won on the world tour in Bahrain, beating Jason Belmonte, now up against Beasley, fourth playing yeah, Touch high, but he gets them all. He's got a lot of room in that pocket. When you have area with a urethane ball and a rev rate approaching 600 or more, and that ball hits the pins, you're going to throw a lot of strikes. Beasley with a pair of options, the Legion solid at 8.5, and the Heat, the least reactive at 7. That's a hook rating on a scale of 10 in hook potential. Catherine. On the right. Yep. I can't say enough what what he did in match play this year's tournaments. Mrs. Mitch Beasley and Jellimar Beasley turnabout is fair play as Mitch cheered on in Jellimar in the PBA Challenge <laughs> at the World Series of Bowling. And now in Jellimar in the stands cheering on her husband. And on the PBA Regional Tour this year, first time ever, Ingelimar met Mitch in a title match on the PBA Regional Tour. It's never happened previously. Y you know who won? Mitch won. Of course. Well. <laughs> Big shot, fifth frame, can cut the lead in half. Beasley yeah. finds a strike on the left lane. Yeah, he made a great shot. <laughs> Mitch Beasley, one of the good guys. Finds a way to throw a double and gives young Jesper Spenson something to think about. The Harry Golden PBA Rookie of the Year, looking for his first major, 20 years old, would be the youngest tournament of champions winner in history. 10 pin lead, can double it back to 20, fifth frame. Yes. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Youngest major champion ever, Mike Albee, 19 years old, winning in 1979 the PBA National Championship as we take another look. Piping it straight up, second arrow. And that's 10 back. Halfway home title match at the Fire Lake PBA Tournament of Champions, Jesper Svensson, double, spare, double. 20 pin advantage, but Beasley has two strikes working and he found a temporary solution on the left lane. First crack at the six belongs to Svensson. Jasper yeah, kicks out the seven. <laughs> well, he's repeating, making really, really good shots. 
It is a young gun revolution out here on the PBA Tour. Just great pin action. Mitch Beasley bowling with his wife in Jalimar, big proponent of the regional program. It's where Mitch learned to bowl. It's the proving ground for learning equipment, lanes, and lane play. And Mitch has earned 20 regional titles in his career. Skates wide, two pin. I saw Mitch about three weeks ago in Vegas at the military championship. It's the largest non combat gathering of active and retired military 1800 of our of America's finest th at the tournament Mitch telling me yeah I made some changes to my game good conversion there so we asked him last night to talk about some of these changes he said well let's see uh, my body position right foot open a little bit more my right shoulders a little bit lower at setup my second step's got to be a little bit slower and more open. My pushway has to be straighter, and I'm lower at the foul line. And I said, how long have you been working on, on all this? And he says, oh, about two weeks. <laughs> he is a tactician, and I would expect that as an Air Force Master Sergeant in the belly of a C-130 as a crew chief, he uh, is used to sequencing a lot of things. C-130 Hercules, I, I'm very familiar with that airplane. Seventh frame. Look out. Yep. Seen a crossover a few times. Doherty, Belmonte. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's that lane. It's tough. It's brutal. As we take a look at some of his accomplishments, 20th in 2012 in this event. Out averaged everybody here in the, match play. On the regional, he's won in six of the seven PBA regions. He said he never would have evolved to where I am as a player without the PBA regional program. Match in Jesper Svensson's hands. Three strikes working. Interesting how he self-talks in English. He just said, come on, kid, one more. What do you make of that, MJ? When in Rome, do as the Romans do. And that is not what the Romans do. 5-8, crossing over, first really bad shot. Yeah, you hear him just said, hey, come on, relax. That's what happens when you start looking ahead, when you start thinking about the trophy and the money and the title, and you're not focused on what you're doing right here. Right, what's in front of you? Mind starts to wander, starts to think about things, takes you right out of your game plan. You start making shots like that. Refocuses for the spare. Right now, Mike, he should be numb the rest of this game and then watch it a week from now or whenever he can and go you know what I don't even remember those last three frames but we're all human that watch if he's wearing <laughs> it the pulse goes up Randy you've been there yeah no you you know the the great ones they they figure out a way to separate they separate themselves mentally and they get into a place of such focus that there's really nothing else happening around them Eight frame, 30 pin lead for Svensson. Messenger, yes! Savage. Give me a dab after that one. Come on, Jesper. Give me a dab. Classic, understated Norwegian. A bit better. As the head pin obliterates the seven. Easily eighth frame. 
And a 2-4, 10. He flirted with that on that right lane the last time. Well, a great week for Mitch Beasley, who's served, when he was in the military, served tours in Afghanistan, Pakistan. Bold so, so great in match play to earn the number one seed. And with all the power on the right side, the lanes disintegrated. And by the time he got to him, there wasn't a whole lot left. Jesper Svensson is the only southpaw throwing urethane. Guess what? Urethane doesn't absorb the oil like the reactive resin does. His shot, if anything, just got better after practice, after shots thrown before his last match. And then he just developed him and made him even better. And Mitch, with the support of his wife, and Angelimar, and daughter Barbara, he says uh, happiness is most important thing to me and happiness and family if i don't strike i can always return to the source of my happiness trying to punch out here last crack at the left lane and that one sails wide yeah yeah that left lane such is a good lane is so bad wow. that ball looked like it wiggled twice it's interesting wow. that tom doherty calls it the belmo effect because that lane was fine <gasps> in game one. And then all of a sudden, Belmo comes out, starts bowling, and you can see that that lane starts to hang a little bit. Players get the ball a little bit to the right, and then it starts to hang. Then they move in, and, and then they, get, they square it up a little bit. It goes through the nose, and then all of a sudden, lane's destroyed. <laughs> Spare for Beasley. And Svensson will finish first. The magic number is 193 to win $50,000 at the Fire Lake PBA Tournament of Champions and claim a major title. Runner-up earns 25 grand. Tom Doherty takes home 13,000, 11, 10 for fourth and fifth. All he has to do is keep it on the lane the next two frames and he'll be the youngest player ever to win the Tournament of Champions. Spencer with <laughs> urethane. Ooh. Oh, that brings back bad memories. <laughs> Cover the nine and claim your first PBA major title. Jesper Svensson becomes the youngest player in PBA history to be a champion among champions. 3rd career title, first major and a 10th frame to enjoy it. Yeah, you look back at his first match against Tom Doherty. He goes strike open. And then followed it up with a seven bagger. Mitch Beasley, runner up finish. Disappointment, but a great tournament for Beasley. Seats himself into the title match. Great performance. Yeah! Jesper Svensson claims the title at the Fire Lake PBA Tournament of Champions. He will hoist the trophy and Kimberly Pressler will catch up with him when we return to the Fire Lake Arena. The two-handed revolution has taken over the PBA Tour. Jesper Svensson with his sick power wins his first major.